morning! Welcome to Dr. Bonhead's Secret Science Lab. I'm here this morning at the assembly rooms. I'm just about to do a show very, very soon. But before I do, I want to show you some secret experiments, so make sure nobody's watching. It's a classic. You just need something fizzy that's diet. And it's something about the diet that helps it to work. What we also need is something to get the fizz fizzing. The best thing you can use are these little sweeties, Mentos. What I've done is taken them boop, and drilled a little hole through the bottom, like this, all the way through. And that means I can hang them off a little string. I'm just going to use a pipe cleaner. Four. So here we have four Mentos ready to put onto my lid with a hole in it. I'm just going to pop it through here now, like this. There we go. And there is my fuse ready to add to my bottle of lemonade. Screwed on, ready to go. Let's do another one. Big hole this time. I think that's about six millimetres in diameter. And we'll hang this one off here. This is messy. So normally I do it outside, but I haven't got an outside. So I'm going to do it inside here. I've made a little space ready. I've called this carnage corner. So that is easy for me to clean up after. So kids, if you are indoors, sit in the bath and do it. Or somewhere you're not going to get into a lot of trouble for making mess. I'm going to drop that in there. And you can see as soon as I do... All those bubbles are forming so quickly, so quickly. Each tiny bubble is pushing and pushing. And there are millions of little bubbles pushing and pushing. And they'll push harder and harder until in the end they'll push so hard I won't be able to stop it. And whoa! We get... Oh, look how much higher this one's going. Oh, that's the one with a small hole. And um, that's the one with a big hole. It lasted much less time, but it was a much fatter, fatter fizz. Well, that's our first experiment out of the way, and we've already got a bit of carnage here in the corner, so I'm going to have to sit in a puddle. For this one, it's useful if you know somebody who's got false teeth. You know all those teeth they take out and leave in the side of the bed at night time. If they do, they're going to need to clean their false teeth, and they'll use something like these, fizzy tablets that clean their teeth. They've got something which makes them fizz. And what I want is the fizziness. You can see them fizzing there. I'm going to use this fizziness in here to make my rocket pop into the sky. Before I do that, I need to put some water in here. Great! Now I've got two of them filled up about that far with some cold water. If you use warm, have an experiment. See what happens. Does it make any difference if the water is warmer? We want to add maybe two or three of these little fizzy tablets. Uh, I'm going to use a few more just to speed things up. Here they are. I've got them broken up already to do this experiment. Um, one last thing. I want to make this look a bit like a rocket, so I'm going to put a rocket nose cone on the top. Uh, you could use paper cups and draw your own rocket nose cone pattern on. I'm just going to use these party cups. And I want a bit of sticky tack some blue tack or something like this to stick them in place. Pop this one here, a little bit of that in there and it's already starting to fizz, pop the lid on, woohoo! And uh, pop that one there and then put mine, oh, oh my god, uh, hey! oops! Well, back to the drawing board on that one. We'll try again. So, that one fizzed far too fast. I'm going to try it with a little bit less water in here, get rid of a bit of water, and a little bit less of this stuff. There's that. Oh, let's pop the lid on quickly. And pop this on. There's our rocket nose cone. I've got pirate theme. And I'm just going to wait. Don't point it at cats. Or your brothers or sisters. We've got our own little do-it-yourself rocket made from fizzy denture mix. Brilliant. 
For this one, we need pop-top bottles. They're called pop-top bottles because their tops pop up and down. We're going to fill them up about half full with warm or cold water. Again, do an experiment and see what difference it makes. I like to colour my water and uh, you can use things like food colouring. But I prefer to use these bath colouring little tablets because if you get them on you, they just wash off nice and easily. I've got three different colours. Drop one in there, that's going to give me a nice red colour, a blue colour and a yellow colour. I'm going to add something super fizzy. Now this stuff is a medicine and uh, normally we don't help ourselves to medicines at all. So you will need your parents to help you with this one. I prefer these things, they're called Alka-Seltzers and they're little tablets which fizz, fizz really strongly in water. What I want to do here is I want to really get a lot of bubbles stored up in here. And bubbles don't like forming in water for a very good scientific reason. I'm going to help bubbles to form in the water. In washing up liquid is a special chemical called a surfactant. And all that does is help to make bubbles. And that's all it does. It makes bubbles. It doesn't clean your dishes, doesn't kill germs. It just makes bubbles. So we think that our washing up liquid is working. Let's pop a little bit in this one, my red one, and a little bit in this one, my blue one, and a little bit in this one, my yellow one. Beware that if your ceiling is low, you might have a multicoloured ceiling after, but best of all, just go outdoors and try it. I need to pop the lids down a little bit, just a bit, Oop, like that. Let's pop the fizzy tablets in there. Oh, it's already starting to fizz. Let's screw the lid on quick. Oh, pop that one safely over there. Can I manage this one before that one pops? Pop that in there, screw the lid on. Oh, the pressure's building up. Oh. Oh my goodness, I'm going to move away. And the last one, the yellow one. Oh. Wow! Okay, that one's gone. Let's... Let's see what I forget. Oh, that one's trying to squirt out already. My goodness, what a mess. Let's give that one a bit of a shake. Oh, oh okay, we've had a red rainbow foam fountain. Cool. Oh, I dare to touch it. Is it going to go? Oh, my goodness. OK, all clear. And this one looks like it's, oh, it looks like a little mini volcano. Oh, my goodness. Rainbow foam fountains. Woohoo! Our next experiment is really this experiment turned upside down. We're going to use some of our fizzy tablets. I've got one here and I'm breaking it up nice and small. I've got actually four of them in there. Some water in a pop top bottle like that. And then a small squirt of washing up liquid. I've got a big old honey pot jam jar that I'm going to use as my launch pad. And now I'll pour these into there. They're going to build up fizz. I've got washing up liquid. Pop the lid on hard like this and push that down. Give it a little shake and this time turn it upside down. This is not NASA style rocket science. I have no idea when that is going to go. Well, I have a rough idea. 31, 32, 33. pointing that way, I don't want it that way. I'm trying to point it slightly this way. I don't want it to fire that way. Ah! I fired that way anyway. Woo! Fizzy rockets. DIY rocket science. Brilliant. Let's go and do our next experiment. For this one, we're just going to need a little glass and some raisins. The question is, what do you think will happen if I drop the raisins in the water? Will they sink or will they float? There's only one way to find out and that is to do the experiment. That one sinks, that one sinks, that one sinks, that one sinks, they all sink. It seems that raisins sink in water. Now what do you think will happen when I drop the raisins into lemonade with lots of bubbles in it? Let's drop them in. Wow, look at that. That one goes up, hits the top, Boink, and it goes down again. It goes up, hits the top, boink, goes down again. Boink, and down again. Up and down. Dancing raisins. Why do they go up and down? 
Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio!